Newcastle Fans TV. Hello everybody, welcome to the drive down preview here on Newcastle Fans TV. Very early in the morning, I am currently heading down to Leicester. It's about a three hour drive, not too bad. Probably do it in once, one hit. Uh, we've got great memories down Leicester, of course. We've won three out of the last four games, of course. Uh, we always remember that 5-0 battering in the rain, which we were singing my heads off. But uh, yeah, I'll be heading down there. I'll be joined by um, Sam later on. And I always get asked the question, I'm going to point this out. Why do I wear fingerless gloves? Well, first of all, it's cold. But secondly, I've always got a camera in my hand, so it's easier to hit, pause, record, rewind, and what have you on the camera. But uh, Leicester obviously played in the Europa League. Uh, they're out of the Europa League. Uh, I watched that on BT Sport uh, for their game against Napoli. It was quite entertaining, actually. They went down 3-2, but they put out a strong side, and I was curious to see what side they were going to put out, because obviously they've got a lot of injury and COVID. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how many of them players make it, and if there's a lot of rotation on Sunday, or any of the COVID players. I don't think there's many. I think there's only four or five. But... Um, the Spurs game got called off and obviously Spurs play in the, the Conference League and they could be chucked out of the competition because they couldn't fulfil their fixture, which I think is a little bit harsh. But Leicester have dropped down to that and Brendan Rodgers was given a bit of tongue-in-cheek saying he didn't know much about the competition. Just move the camera there. And uh, But anyway, aye. But Leicester, um, we'll have to see. I mean, they'll play normally a 4-2-3-1. But sometimes Rodgers can mix it up and go 4-3-3. I mentioned Barnes when I did the preview uh, the other day outside, well, underneath St. James's Park as well. Um, he's the one for me to watch out for. Obviously, you can talk about Vardy and Madison and what have you, but I think Barnes could rip us a new one. I really could. But um, look, with Newcastle, there's no fresh injuries. Fabian Shea didn't train for a couple of days. He had a bit of an issue, but Eddie Howe said he was fine. And Paul Dummett is still absent from quite a while away. And it'd be nice to see if Paul Dummett was to come into the side. If he, when he is fit, of course, where will he play? Will he play uh, a centre-back role? Will he play at left-back because he's very defensive? He doesn't get up and down the pitch. Whereas Jamal Lewis has had a fantastic couple of games since coming back in. Um, do I see many changes? I said this in the preview. Uh, I can't see being many less injury like Fabian Shea can't make it. I can only really see someone's place at threat would be Miggy's. Um, but having said that, Miggy put a good performance in the other day. Last week, sorry. I can only see Ryan Fraser coming in to that side if that's changed, and that's the only one I can see. I can't see many people from the bench coming in. But like I say, unless injuries forces it. How are man, you got to Michael is flying. It's not a good start. Sorry. Kind of do two things at once. Typical bloke, aren't I? But anyway, I uh, Leicester, so we'll be down there. Me, Sam, uh, doing all the videos. We've got a... He's always like the match away vlog, so thank you for the good feedback on them. Um, I'll be doing that, of course. We've got the match reaction. Uh, we've got the last word as well. And, of course, we've got the online team uh, with Steve and... I think calls on it. I can't remember. But anyways, I'll be I'll be scheduling all that. Uh, I done all that yesterday. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Scheduling all of that. But I could see it being an entertaining game today. I, I'm very optimistic. Normally, when I go to away games, I'm like, oh god, I'll hope for a draw and what have you. But I think we can get a positive score draw today, not just like nick a draw. I reckon we could potentially. I say that loosely. Potentially match Leicester City today. I really do. I think we could do that. Um, Leicester are a very indifferent side from what they were the previous seasons and Newcastle have only lost one in the last five games so we're on a bit of a I wouldn't say we're on a roll but it's a turn where we're starting to pick up a point there and we've obviously picked up our first three points as well against Burnley so I wouldn't say we're on a roll but we're picking up steadily and I think we need to start averaging more than a point a game just to stay up effectively and I think Obviously, we all looked at the Watford results on Friday night and they were 1-0 up in, what, 84 minutes and they lost the game. So, I'm not going to lie, I cheered that on when I seen that result come in. Brentford won, I don't mind Brentford win. I think Watford is the team that Newcastle need to go and catch, personally. So, if we can get a positive result this weekend, we'll close that gap. I don't worry about Burnley winning. I don't worry about Norwich winning. My focus currently at the minute is Watford and closing that gap from 17th position because at the end of the day that's the golden line that's where we stay up 
and I know everybody's got talking about the big fixtures, but if we can stay in touch and distance with Watford over these next four games, where we're only three points, four points away, I think that'll put one good stead when we start to play the likes of Everton, and then we're going into the new year, and we've got Southampton, and then we've got the FA Cup, and we've got Leeds, and what have you. Um, are you going to give us any room? But anyway, um, bye. But I'm looking forward to it. Love away days. Absolutely love them. I love them more than home di- home games. I'm just hoping that this new variant doesn't affect all the travelling away fans because I, it's my release of the football. I love it. Um, and if it stops me going to my football and I work from home as well, Christ, I'm not now what to do. But yeah, like I say, all the videos are coming later on today. That's my only worries that this variant gets worse. And that'll also affect anybody who goes to home games as well. Um, just hope it doesn't get worse. I know you've got to show your, ca- your your COVID passport and a negative test, but let's just hope it doesn't get any more serious because at the end of the day, the reason why you're tuning into this video is because you love your football. And the last thing that we, we didn't want to do as a channel is not bring you content from, from grounds because that's what we do. We're at every single ground and we love making the content and that'll be a killer for me. It'll suck the life out of us if I can't do that and I've got to do them from home because it's not worse than doing videos live all the time on a green screen or what have you on stream yards not for us it's not our thing but um anyways i'm just about to hit uh i've got an ambulance behind us now you probably hear again past um i'm just about to hit the uh the m1 but hopefully when we come back uh with you with all the videos later on uh, we've got a positive result but anyways see you later everyone watch what you're doing Ta-da.